the European Games. Baku 2015, rise to the occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you boxers. Ringing music engine the box in the red corner, representing Great Britain, Josh Kelly. On on Regime. Ringing engine his opponent, the box in the blue corner, representing Azerbaijan, Pepe. And the referee of this bout is Mr. Gerardo Pocchi from Argentina. We're in the 69 kilogram welterweight division. We are at the semi final stage. And this final four encounter is between boxers from Great Britain and Azerbaijan. The man operating out of the orthodox stance, wearing red, currently standing at centre ring, is Josh Kelly. His opponent, in blue, boxing as a southpaw right now, is the tournament number two seed, Parvis Bagirov. And this is a matchup between two immensely talented 21-year-olds. Effective forward for Ray from Josh Kelly. Gearoff takes another swift right hand as Kelly holds up that right hand afterwards to accentuate the fact that he feels it landed effectively, as it appeared to from my vantage point. Gearoff electing to stand with a wide legged stance rather than employ fleet-footed movement which is a really strong suit of his boxing he's a very good mover it's Parviz Bagirov laterally sideways but another right hand gets through from Kelly cluster of punches repelled, repelled effectively but one or two did get through from the man in red good movement from the waist to avoid those shots from Bagirov then came back with his own right hand to the body did Kelly Bagirov continuing to watch and wait and fence with that jab Kelly employing effective aggression here and wonderful movement, spreading those legs wide and dipping out of the way of those punches like a limbo dancer. Good right jab from Bagirov. Oh, now, my goodness. Went down low, came up with a blow that was seemed to be below the belt line, but Bagirov didn't complain, and the action resumes with a little more than a minute to go. Gearoff continued to operate out of a flat-footed, wide-legged stance and got through with a ramrod right jab that jolted the head of Kelly backwards. Kelly now on the back foot, his back skimming the ropes. Bagirov looking to come forwards. Good right hand to the body was a good shot in that three-punch combination from Kelly. Effective movement finds an avenue of escape once again from the man in red. Bagirov being made to miss there. Kelly wasn't able to respond and make him pay, but terrific movement from the Great Britain boxer. Bagirov now changes his stance to orthodox. Equally adept out of both stances, Bagirov. World Series boxing experience. Counter left hand was an effective shot from Kelly. Heads came together. Kelly wiped his forehead to check whether there was any blood. Good left hand from Kelly to end the round. Very good round of boxing to begin this 69 kilogram welterweight semi-final. Kelly having plenty of success during the course of that opening three minutes. Not privy to what's being said, but it looks as though Bagirov was being read the riot act in his corner. Now as 
Bagirov, best shot of the entire round, a jolting right jab. Bagirov has taken the opening round across the board. Well, that's going to change the tactics now. I thought Kelly did enough to take that opening round. But he's dropped it across the board from all three of the judges. So we move into the second round of this scheduled three threes in the 69 kilogram welterweight division. The man wearing red, Josh Kelly, Great Britain's representative, world youth bronze medalist back in 2012 has conceded the opening round for all three of the judges. He boxed very well during the course of the opening round. Wonderful movement, effective punch picking as well. Bagirov had his moments, but he was scored the victor. Now, what type of tactics will that bring about in the second round? Because this is where Bagirov is at his most comfortable, on the back foot, moving laterally. And if the onus becomes on, goes on to Kelly to force the contest, he could well be walking on to the end of Rapid fire combination straight punches. That is Bagirov's strong suit. And he's allowed to box in his comfort zone. He's a very effective operator indeed. But Bagirov now electing to come forwards out of that southpaw stance. Kelly will be aware of the fact that he's conceded the opening round. He won't want to fall too behind. And he'll be aware that the tactics he employed in the opening round, despite having a very good round from my vantage point, weren't enough to give him the nod from the judges. So surely he's got to try something a bit more diff a little bit different here. Experienced team over his corner. Will have issued him with the instructions as to what he needs to do. The right boot lace of Bagirov requires retying. So the action resumes with we just approach the midpoint of this second round. Glittering trophy cabinet has been acquired by both of these boxers. Josh Kelly, two British titles, having taken a youth title in 2012 and junior title in 2010 as the boxers come together. Two English titles as well, in 12 and 13. Good shot from Bagirov, and that brings a round of applause from the Crystal Hall. Kelly might have to attack in waves here rather than looking for an effective single shot. Might have to come with twos and threes because Bagirov possesses very good reflexes, got his feet in a tangle there, and Kelly took advantage, working away with that right hand. Bagirov comes through with a one-two combination that was successful. So the, both of these boxers guaranteed at least European Games bronze. Good right hand to the body from Kelly, drove his man backwards into the ropes. But perhaps there needs to be a quickening of the tempo here from Josh Kelly. In the closing stages of this second round. Contrasting guards being held. Kelly bracketing his head with his hands. Bagirov with his hands loose and wide splayed. Kelly on the front foot. Bagirov posturing, posing, fainting. Good right hand from Kelly to end the round. How will the judges score that one? Dave Alloway in the Great Britain corner issuing the instructions. The beautiful left hand from Bagirov. Scored effectively with that shot. Kelly had success with his own punches as well. Two rounds completed, both of them have gone in favour of the tournament number two seed. Josh Kelly has really got to go for it now. If he hopes to book himself a place in the gold medal bout here in Baku. This man has a considerable margin of advantage. Two rounds completed, both have been scored in his favour. So we're into the third and final round. The man in blue, the tournament number two seed, Parvis Bagirov, has taken 
both of the opening two rounds across the board. Josh Kelly, Great Britain's representative, has got it all to do here. If he hopes to extend his stay in the tournament, he comes out quickly, knowing that he's trailing by the two completed rounds, working away with both rights and lefts. Bagirov getting his feet in a tangle. Kelly immediately goes in pursuit of his man once again. Demonstrating plenty of patience, but of course the clock is continuing to tick. Good right hand to the body from Kelly. Had a terrific tournament thus far. Received the bye in the opening round, beat the man from Belarus. And then had a good win, split decision, as was his first encounter in the round of 16. Split decision win over Ireland's Olympian Adam Nolan. So it's been a terrific run to a guaranteed bronze medal here in Baku. He set his sights on gold, so he's going to have to produce something dramatic as Bagirov scores with a good right hand. Parvis Bagirov, national champion in 2014 and came away with European Youth Gold that tournament in Dublin back in 2011. So it gives you an idea of just how talented these two young men are. But it's Bagirov who has the upper hand in this semi-final Kelly lands a good long left Bagirov continuing to engage reverse gear and keep himself out of harm's way Kelly continuing to throw single shots there's a good left-right combination and working away with Bagirov's back close to the neutral corner turnbuckle Bagirov just pecking and poking with a southpaw jab before turning his feet the other way good left hand from Kelly as Bagirov find himself between stances Good right hand and then a left. Bagirov holding on. Not overly concerned by the punches he shipped, but he most certainly took two flush on the chin from the man in red. Good right hand from Bagirov. And he's engaging in a firefight here, meeting fire with fire to the delight of the crowd. Kelly still comes forward. Still demonstrating patience, trying to work his way in. But the clock is on Bagirov's side, and every time the referee intervenes without calling time, the clock continues to tick. Bagirov engaging in conversation with the referee, and the clock continues to elapse. So Kelly really reduced to looking to a knock for a knockout punch now, but it's Bagirov who is letting his hands go. Kelly drops his hands, walks his man down once more. Bagirov employs lateral movement to stay out of harm's way. And at the closing bell, I think that contrast in body language tells you who has prevailed in this semi-final. Josh Kelly gave it his all. But the smile on the face of Parvis Bagirov, illustrative of the fact that he feels he has probably done enough to secure a place in the gold medal bout here in Baku 2015. Josh Kelly deserves immense credit for remaining committed and in pursuit of that victory right up until the closing bell. But having conceded that opening round, that really did change the complexion of the contest. Bagirov boxed very well indeed over the course of rounds two and three. Having taken rounds one and two, he was in a commanding position coming into the third. <laughs> of European football is live on BT Sport. Oh, it's just sensational! But who will be crowned champions? The UEFA Under-21 Championship semi-finals. Tomorrow, live on BT Sport 1. The America's Cup is coming to BT Sport. And this time, Olympic champion Sir Ben Ainsley is in it to win it for Great Britain. His challenge starts right here in Portsmouth. 
Live on BT Sport 2. From the shores of the Caspian Sea, in the ancient land of Azerbaijan, rises the first European Games. Be part of sporting history in Baku this June. The European Games. Baku 2015. Rise to the occasion. Are you paying interest on your credit card? You don't have to. You could save money with a balanced trade.